I took a girl to the movies to see a dubbed anime. Dubbed? That's a red flag. So, what is your spiciest sex story? Wait, what is sex? I had sex with someone whose bed was only an air mattress, and his place looked like no one had lived in it for months. He looked like my ex too, which was very weird. Had sex to the worst songs to have sex to playlist. He nutted to yakety sax. I was sleeping on the upper bunk bed when my bed started shaking. Then I smelled sweat and heard the kissing sounds from the lower bunk bed. I couldn't sleep, so I waited for them to finish. While waiting, I began to read comics. Luckily, they were quick, so I went back to sleep again soon. This person just wrote, I'm a virgin with a little heart. Um, and you know what? Virginity is a social construct, so... Uh, running naked with my crazy ex on a beach. Later, more tourists came, so we were stuck at the end of the sand pit, extending into the water body. It got cold and we couldn't leave until these people went away. That's, that sounds traumatizing. Ten dudes in a bathtub. My ex-girlfriend's parents were super homophobic, and my moral kind of iffy about our relationship. Uh, we had a hard time finding anywhere to have sex without the fear of being caught, but thankfully we play, happened to play on the same hockey team. So after practice one time, we stayed back in the change room and did the dirty there. 10 out of 10 to be honest, except we both smelled and tasted like sweaty hockey equipment. What's the weirdest place you've had sex on campus? UC showers, though the mechanics were a little whack. Medside buildings, Tim Hortons. I have not, but my pick would be Con Hall. Exhibition style. Robots. The study booths in the Wetmore Hall basement at the college, they were still under construction at the time. Um, that's good. Pros, very private. Um, cons, lots of dust. Interesting. The exam center, where I get f***ed by tests. The bus stop, the driver was on break. In a dorm room belonging to neither me nor the other person, or anyone we knew. I feel, I just feel bad for the person whose dorm this is. And I hope that this is not the way that they find out that this happened. Nowhere because I'm normal. Same here. What is the weirdest first date you've ever been on? He told me he wanted to take me to a surprise picnic. And when we reached, it was a cemetery at a gravesite where his ex was buried. Gay bar, but I'm straight. Bees? Bees. It, it says bees with a period. I guess uh, the girl from the bee movie is a U of T student, which is kind of cool. We spent an hour and a half at a coffee shop and spoke exclusively about the military and border regulations of different countries. Not exactly date conversation. Needless to say, we never saw each other again. It was supposed to be a normal coffee date, but then I had a work emergency, so I took him with me to pick up magazine proofs and then taught him the basics of the publication style guide so that he could help me proofread it. We haven't spoken si since. I love a good style guide. I met up with this guy and he looked like the Dollarama version of Justin Trudeau. <laughs> he had a messy car and paid for the date. He looked creepy though, so I didn't really like him. Are you saying that our PM looks creepy? So the girl was like, let's smash. And I went over to her place. I didn't see a Nintendo Switch. Worst day ever. So some guy tried to get me to join the Church of Scientology. The guy asked me to the gym on a first date and then made me pay for his post-workout shake. I took a girl to the movies to see a dubbed anime. Dubbed? That's a red flag. He on God took me to his mom's funeral. <laughs> Uh, hopefully the relationship died there. He was a park ranger, I was a wild bear. Ours was a forbidden love, but our innate primal desires were stronger than the townsfolk's ideals. It was a dark and stormy night when we shared breadsticks and cheese under the children's play structure. He looked me in the eye as he wiped cheese from my fur. Alas, my hunger grew, and the breadsticks would not suffice. I ate him. He was simply delicious. A quick intermission before we continue. I just finished tallying the hottest masthead member uh, response results. We got a lot of who, I don't know, who the f 
uh, I don't know who these people are, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm a tad offended considering I record these people every week for our TikTok and Instagram. And yes, shameless plug at the.varsity for both platforms. We also got a lot of none or none of you. Y'all remind me of Mr. Potato Head. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> it's not like we don't have a ton of choice here. Okay. I'll stop ranting now. The winners were Lexi and Mackay. My personal favorite responses are the coach, a tie between Mackay and Lexi, my pan brain can't even with this masthead, and Khadija is so mommy, like step on me please. To whoever wrote, I want to go on a date with Shringle, uh, help is out there, I promise you. Oh, um, so I actually have to go. HR wants to see me for some reason. I can't imagine why. <laughs> okay, on to the rest of the video. Uh, how would you ask out your hot TA? What's your best pickup line? Do you think you can help me with this assignment during your off hours? I'm not getting it all and could really use some one-on-one -on -one guidance. What's your major? They say losing a night's worth of sleep is insomnia, but if I were to lose a night's worth of sleep with you, I'd call it a dream come true. Are you a part of the group two of the periodic table? Because you're sodium fine. Ooh, okay. I, I like this one. Yo, what's up, baby girl? Are you looking for a 2.3 GPA boyfriend? I got you. Are you a fire alarm? Because you're really loud and annoying. I also, I don't know who you're going to pick up with that line, by the way. Like, I guess some people are into that. I'm a bit of a stud. I already got the STDs. All I need is you. I don't have any pickup lines. I'd rather been pinned down. Which major has the most roots? Drama lol. Okay. Anything but computer science and also theater majors. Biology majors. We know every single detail of your body and ho know how to make it feel good. When in doubt, find a bio major. English. Cinema studies. Psych. I agree. Unfortunately, it's Rotman. Those know how to network and could probably get some. Definitely philosophy. Forensic sciences, because they know how to manipulate and get what they want. And which major do you think has the least risk? Life sciences. <laughs> Engineers or Rotman men? Guys in English. I agree with this. I agree. Astrophysics. Engineering or kinesiology? Anything STEM, but mostly computer science. I actually agree. Computer science, no explanation needed. Comsci, and I also agree. Computer science, duh. All of them equally to a T. 